either yet. So this will be the second album review so far that I'm doing of this band. So of uh, Badfinger, <clears throat> great band. Um, so yeah, they're a great band, but the good thing they um, they uh, bad thing about that is they started. You know, they formed nineteen. Changed the name to Bad Finger in '69. First album came out in 1970. Um, so from 1970 until 1974, that's you know four years. Um, so they only had six albums. I think it was six. Out by four years um, within that year period, but. Um, too bad what happened, but um, great band, great, great band. So today I'm going to be talking, like I said, about their second studio album, No Dice. So I found this album compared to the other album. Um, I found this one um, a, 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 you know, a lot better than the other one. Um, so this album, No Dice, was is a rock album, um, which was released on November 9th of 1970. Um, so the songs on the album include the 2 minute and 57 second song, I Can't Take It, I Don't Mind, Love Me Do, the 2 minute and 50 second song, Midnight Caller, which, uh, and then after that is their most popular song that probably everybody heard. Lots of people heard the song. Um, which I think that became probably their most popular song ever. Um, no matter what it's called. Um, so that, uh, that song there I think is their most, pretty much most popular song. Um, I think they, yeah, great, great song, really good. Um, and after that is Without You, which, um, that song there, they sang that song, that one, they kind of made that song, it's quite popular. Um, another person done that before, um, before that, which was, um, I'm trying to think of his name, um, Harry Nielsen, or something like that. Um, yeah, I think probably it was a couple years before that. Um, but no, they did a great job of that song. That's kind of, that's a great song. Um, then after that is Blogwin. That's a great song. And uh, Better Days. That's a really good song. Then the 2 minute and 29 second song, It Had To Be You. And uh, what? What? For John, then uh, Believe in Me, and the very last song on this album is We're For the Dark. Um, so that's, what was that, 12 songs or whatever? It's quite a bit of songs on this album. Um, so there's a video for Without You, I think it might be a live video, and um, I think it might be. And then another one um, for uh, No Matter What. Um, I think they have a, I don't know if it's, uh, they didn't have a live video for that or a pro or a music video for that, if I'm not mistaken. I think they might a music video for No Matter What, um, which became, I would say, probably one of their biggest hits, I have to say. I don't know, you know, I've, this album here is a great, great, great album. Really, really good. Um, excellent album for sure. Um, so this one is the second album review that I've done of this band. Um, so, like, amazing guitar, amazing um, song, like, no matter what. Great, great, great album. Um, especially, you know, um, Better Days, the uh, guitar solo on that is 
really good. The whole album itself, me, this is my opinion on it. My opinion. Um, you might have a different opinion about it, I'm not quite sure, but my opinion, I think this album might be one of their best albums, I think. I don't know. Just me saying that, you know, I'd be interested to find out. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite album of theirs is. Um, I think this is, this probably is one of my, this is probably, I would say probably my favorite album of theirs. This is my favorite one. Um, so I'll go through the songs. There's I Can't Take It, I Don't Mind, Love Me Do, that's a great song, rocking song, Midnight Caller, and anyway, it goes into that, because I Can't Take It, that one's quite of a great rocking tune, um, I Don't Mind is also not bad, really good, Love Me Do is a great rocking tune, then when it goes to Midnight Caller, which, that song there isn't, um, more of a slower song, but a great song, then after that goes into their No Matter What, that song, which is kind of this upbeat kind of song, then, um, Lodwin, which is kind of like a slow song, slower song than the other, um, Better Days is kind of more of an upbeat, um, song, and there's a, you know, the two minute and 29 seconds song, It Had to Be You, Wadford John, Believe in Me, and then the very last song is We're For The Dark, which is a great song to finish off the album. And like I said, there's a video they put of Without You, which I don't know if it was a live video or something, and then No Matter What as well. Though, so those two songs, um, oh, excuse me, those two songs off this album, they've done um, two, and then uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah, 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 for, no, I forgot about this as well. Um, and they also did a video, it might be a live one, I'm not quite sure, in back it might have been 1971. 72 around there have a video of them performing better days as well. I forgot about that um Yeah, so um, but great great album overall. So um, let me know what you think of this album review Make sure to hit a thumbs up Comment down below check out the other album review of this band that I done and um, Hope you like it and um Always remember to subscribe. Check out um, Music DVD Collection um, and so many other album reviews by different other rock bands. And I did, you know, some pop. If you're into that as well, me, I like pop. I like country. Different kinds of ones. Um, I did Shania, uh, Shania Twain Up album review. And um, Come On Over, that album review. And the woman in me, that album review, as well as um, Cheryl Crow, Come On, Come On album review, Cheryl Crow, that album review, and Tuesday Night Music Club. So check that out if you also like that. I like all different kinds of music. Um, so make sure to hit a thumbs up on this, comment down below. If you're watching those ones and you like that, hit a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button here, there, there, and hit that and. Thank you so much for watching and uh, bye.